Hi there. <laughs> I'm Mary Newer Lee. I've been a jeweler and a metalsmith most of my adult life. I love to create and the act of just sitting on my workbench and moving things around or drawing in my sketchbook is enough to give me inspiration. And the more I do, the more ideas I have. As a young child, I was fortunate enough to live next to a uh, a children's museum called the Joseph Fiend D. Randall Jr. Museum. The museum there had a jewelry studio, pottery studio, crap, all kinds of crafts and arts. I was taken there first by my mother when I was four years old. Uh, we made a paper mache puppet, then we made uh, slab pottery as well as a basket. We made basket weave. We did basket weaving. I was hooked. I was hooked for life. Just making things is what I love to do. Fast forward to 17 years old when I was finally able to take an art, um, an art course and crafts, they called it. We had a semester of jewelry making. At that point in time, I was able to learn how to set stones, how to cast, how to fabricate, how to saw, hammer, polish, all of the things that I never get tired of doing. I love setting stones. Stone setting is actually a huge inspiration to me. Taking a stone, looking at the stone, deciding what that stone needs to set in silver or gold, and how can I set it in that material, that medium, without overpowering it? How can I reflect the design, the pattern in the stone? In 2017, um, my home and studio burned down in the North Bay fires. And as we were sifting through the ashes, we came up with lots of bits of china, which my sons collected, and I was, wasn't sure what I was going to do. I came back a couple times and picked up a few more pieces that looked interesting to me. And yet, I still didn't know what to do with them. Some of it was very, very sentimental. Some of it was our china for Thanksgiving, our Christmas, well, the Christmas china. Yeah, I lost all that. Um, the baby tea set, the tea set I had as a young child that my mother so lovingly purchased for me. I started creating jewelry with it, like, duh, <laughs> that's what I'll do with it. And it's been a whole new path in my jewelry making skills, learning how to cut the, the pieces of china and try to make them into a readable, beautiful setting that has meaning to me. China has patterns. China can be this little vignette with these little pictures of birds or leaves or trees, nature, um, all of that. I try to take that and the jewelry making look at that and decide how to replicate a little bit of it in the, the piece. Blue Willow, for example, has a fascinating <laughs> design to it. That has been a constant source of inspiration for me. Thank you.